Right, first of all, um, good news, you're hearing my voice, which means um, I have not decided to quit. Um, I wasn't trying to pull an April Fool's joke on you guys that were on Twitter the other day. I genuinely was on the brink of quitting because, you know, you know me, I have a very big mouth. I say things I probably shouldn't, and most of the time the stuff I do say does get me into a lot of trouble. Well, I, I actually, I probably wouldn't say trouble, I'd say more people, a certain amount of individuals don't respect my honest uh, opinions and evaluations about something. So, you know, I'm going to try and tone down on that on moment, but that's my personality. You know, I speak my mind about anything and everything in the community, and I try to give my honest opinions about the stuff that's happening, even if it may offend a couple of people, but I've never called anyone out. I've never directly hated on anyone, so... Um, you know, I just, normally I don't care, you know, normally a bit of hate, I love a bit of hate, I love a bit of banter with, with haters, because I love to fuck around with them, I just love, I love getting into arguments and stuff, but, I don't know, recently, it's just got to the point where I was just thinking, you know what, what, I shouldn't have to put up with this, you know, I, I know that there are a lot of you that do respect my opinions, and, 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 and enjoy my videos, and obviously do not want me to quit, but there are a few, um, that obviously hates me uh, some for some reason or other because all I try and do is speak the truth and I seem to get hated for it. But anyway, that's not... I, I'm, I'm like Marmite, you know? I'm like Marmite. You either like me or you don't. I might I might title the video this. Actually, no, probably not. Anyway, because that's not what I want to talk about. That was just kind of off-topic, well, kind of thing. What I want to talk about today in this, the, the rest of the time that we've got is active and inactive subscribers because... The thing is with them is it's it, I wouldn't say it was a problem. I'd say it was more of an annoyance that us YouTubers have to go through um, on a, on a daily basis. I'd, I'd say especially if you uploaded daily, maybe not on a daily basis, but quite frequently, a couple of times a week, depending on how much you upload. I should say. So uh, say you have ten thousand subscribers, okay, on your channel page, and you upload uh, a video and it gets a thousand views in 24 hours. Now, does that mean that 90% of your audience are inactive? No, it doesn't mean that at all. And I fucking hate it when people come across my channel, and I'm not just talking about my channel, I'm talking about everyone's channel. Say you, say my channel, okay? I have 4,600 subscribers when I'm, when I'm recording this dead on. And this video will probably only get Three, four hundred views after the first day. Now, does that mean that not, almost, I don't know, eighty percent? I'm not, I'm not trying to do the maths now, but does that mean a large proportion of my audience is inactive? No, I'd say a few of them are, but you know, you've got to split it up into a couple of different groups. So first of all, you've got group number one: active, loyal, dedicated, just. I, I wouldn't class them as fanboys, but almost bordering that. And I'm not, I'm not taking the piss out of anyone that is a fanboy, but, you know, that sort of category is you'll, you'll, you'll come across a subscriber and they will watch anything you upload. And they, they're, they're the best. They are, they're my favourite subscribers, you know. You have the ones, or, or your friends, you know, they'll watch anything you upload because of you. Now, that's why when I came into YouTube, I always had the, the thought and, and of, of uploading two or three different games because then I'd be able to see... A, which game got more views, and I'd probably end up uploading a lot more of that. Or B, um, just to see if people will actually watch me on different games. And it's it's happened, you know. A lot of people do watch my FIFA and COD videos. So they're, they are my favourite subscribers, you know. The people that watch everything. They'll watch me for me, and not watch me for the game I'm playing, you know. So that's fantastic news, and that's what I've built my channel around, and that is what I'll continue to grow my channel on. You know, I'm not just going to be uploading COD and FIFA anymore. When I get my PC, you know, we'll be throwing a bit of Minecraft in there. We'll be throwing a couple of different PC games in there. You know, Battlefield 4 at the end of the year. Obviously, the new COD and the new FIFA will come out, and I'll upload that. But, you know, I might start going off and into different tangents. And I know for a fact that there are a large proportion of you that want to watch me for me. And that is fantastic, because that means I know I can upload what I want, and hopefully you guys will watch it. Okay, so then you've got... Then you've got the completely other end of the spectrum, and you've got your inactive subscribers. Proper inactive, and, you know, these are the ones that have subscribed to you because maybe they've they've watched one of your videos and thought, oh, okay, this is decent, uh, I'll subscribe. And then maybe they've shut off their YouTube 
or they just don't watch videos anymore or you know their internet or any any sort of excuse like that and those you can't really deal with i know youtube goes through a couple of measures each year trying to remove inactive accounts that haven't been like logged into and i think it's about three three or six months or something like that so you know youtube do try and help the situation a little bit more but apart from that you know you're always going to have loads of inactive subscribers you know it's not it, it, i wouldn't say it's a bad thing you know because it's just you have to just deal with it you know deal with it that is basically there is nothing you can do so there's no point moaning about it so you might as well just crack on and you've got the middle sort of category that um, and, and this applies for me, this may not apply to everyone, but this applies to me or, or someone that uploads a different variety sort of games. You know, you'll have half of this middle category where they want to watch COD and you'll have the other half where you want to watch FIFA. And sometimes, as you said, you've got the perfect group that you that want to watch all my videos and sometimes you've got, you know, some that really don't. And within that middle group, I know I'm going into like seven or eight different groups here, but just kind of try and follow me. But within that group, you've got people that are just casual viewers, you know, they have probably subscribed to me because of a FIFA video and then they might occasionally watch one of my FIFA videos or same with COD, you know, they've subscribed to me because I did a nice commentary on COD and then, you know, I haven't been able to rekindle that commentary standard again. So, you know, they thought, oh, this guy's getting boring now. I might watch occasionally watch his videos and vice versa. You know, sometimes people subscribe for series is and then watch the series and then don't continue to watch them. Or sometimes people subscribe to you because of a giveaway or some people subscribe to you because you did one one video that went viral or, you know, I've got a video on my channel. Um, it's a squad builder. My, the first ever squad builder I ever did on FIFA. It's almost 80,000 views. So a couple, I'd say quite a lot of subscribers came from that. And, you know, hopefully most of them will continue to watch my FIFA videos. But, you know, there's not much you can do. So... I just want to say to you guys that if you have inactive subscribers, you know, don't worry about it. You know, worry about more the, the more to the side of your active subscribers and keep them happy, you know, because they're the ones that are going to keep coming back and watching your videos time and time again. So if you've got any more thoughts and opinions, I'd love to hear them down in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it around. You know, it really does help my channel out. I'm trying to hit 5,000 subscribers in the next couple of weeks. And then we should have another setup video, getting my new PC soon, as I said. So new games will be coming out. And I'm just going to be starting to upload some really different stuff. So I'm not sure how it's going to go down, but we're going to we're going to start experimenting on the channel a little bit more. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave it a thumbs up, favorite it, comment, like, you know, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later on. Goodbye.